Hello there, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. This is your new moon reading everyone. We have the new moon in the sign of Taurus on May the 8th. New moon energy is about beginnings and fresh starts. It's about planting seeds. Now, because we have the new moon in the sign of Taurus on May the 8th, we have this power combo, the number eight in numerology and the Taurus sign. So that firm foundation now is the time to actually focus our energy towards it and build that structure in our lives to start fresh. So this is where you would set a goal for this month. What is it that you're wanting to see happen or come to fruition by the full moon? And um, what I'm going to do in my life is on May the 8th, I'm going to light a candle and set an intention. This is a perfect time to set intentions, everyone. So if you're able to light a candle and set an intention, I would do that. Now, what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to open your reading with a moon mantra. Okay, so I've got a new deck here. I'm super excited about using. And then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card and then an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Aquarius, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to know around this new moon. So what mantra are we going to pull for you today, Aquarius? All right, so exercising my ability to say no, create space for my soul to exhale. Channeling my inner fire into fierce boundaries teaches others where my sacred space ends and theirs begins. This space between hollow, bet, this, this space between is hollowed ground. Only those willing to honor it may remain. So I'm going to read this to you one more time and feel free to pause this video and write this mantra down, Aquarius. So exercising my ability to say no creates space for my soul to exhale. Channeling my inner fire into fierce boundaries teaches others where my sp sacred space ends and theirs begins. This space between is hollowed ground. Only those willing to honor it may remain. So this, what a powerful mantra here for you today. I love this. Let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through for you. All right, Aquarius. We are getting the Ten of Swords. This is a very heavy energy and some of you might be feeling this at this time. Now is a time for you to really take a look at what, of all, the, what all of these swords are that are weighing you down. These are thoughts, things that people have said to you that you're carrying around. There's an ending happening here and a new beginning coming in. So the Ten of Swords to start for you, Aquarius. We also have the Three of Cups. So... I feel there's a union, there's something happening that has to do with other people, connections, relationships. It's a very loving energy that is around you. You're already surrounded by this Aquarius. It's all about embracing it. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. Communication for you is going to be very powerful this month, Aquarius. So this card flipped over. This is the King of Swords. This is a grounded and a centered energy, an energy of connection. And this place is, this person has worked really hard to get to this place. Okay, it's not easy, but this person has mastered it. This is what spirit guides are asking you to embody is the energy of the King of Swords to bring that balance and centeredness into your life. So King of Swords, remember, you are not here to compete with anyone. Aquarius, you're here to rule your reality. Remember that motto. That's my motto for life. 
Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Aquarius. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. All right, so we've got some intensity here. You're gonna to have to share with me what this is in your life. What is this 10 of swords energy for you? Spirit is communicating. There's, there's energy coming in for you. There's power that is being given to you at this time. So the new moon is happening on May the 8th. Number eight, infinity, or Boros. We're gonna feel these energies, but also um, power is being given to you, okay? They're asking you to be brave and courageous on this day. This is an energy where you get back up and let's start to plant some new seeds. Let's let go of that past. Let's release that energy and move on, okay? This is what this new moon is bringing in for you. Spirit is communicating with you. There's a lot of signs around you, information that is coming in. Maybe you're not seeing it right now, Aquarius, or perhaps you are. Remember, we live in a world of duality, so polarity, right? Some of us might be feeling this energy or the opposite or something in between. The power, oh my gosh, it's lifting you up. It's a, it's a very uplifting energy. And sometimes we can't feel this because we're overwhelmed by all the things that are distracting us, which could not be feeling good. So be mindful of taking a look at what's going on. Okay, yes, these things are happening. Let go of the control around them. Let them just happen. Let's pull back a little bit and center ourselves clear it tune that noise out you can just pretend that you're sitting in a white space if you can just imagine the noise gone even putting some earplugs in and playing some music as you're visualizing this clear space you're just in this white space start to visualize put your visualizations there of your dreams the things that you want to create in your life what do you want to see in your life start to focus on that breathe through this energy as well Okay, breathe through it as you're doing this. This is how you center yourself, especially when we're feeling overwhelmed. There's could be, there could be a lot of things happening in your life right now, Aquarius, and you know it's overwhelming and you might not be able to control it and that's okay. That is okay. Um, don't hold on to that. Don't be attached to the outcome. Let it go and move forward. Um, Remember, we're all living a different life experience. So this is going to show up differently for each and every one of us. So you'll have to share with me what this is. Now, I remember when I was feeling this energy in my own life, it was when I was having trouble with my daughter earlier in the relationship when she first got married. Um, so a lot of turbulence. I wasn't, um, I didn't want to react to the situation. I kind of stayed here and let them do their thing. There was just a few little things, hiccups. And we lost connection there. They stopped talking to me and that sucked. It really did suck. But for me, this was the 10 of uh, swords for me. I had all these thoughts, all these things that were replaying in my head. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to give them some time and energy. And when they're open, I'm just going to come to them from a place of love. And that's all I did. And now we're back to being mom and daughter and the love's there. And it's just a beautiful feeling, right? So again working with this energy you're meant to actually experience this Aquarius so uh, I feel there's a reason why you're going through this experience in your life there's something that you're actually meant to learn from uh, learn through this come out with a superpower maybe it's patience maybe it's coming from a loving and compassionate place right and this is actually opening you up to a brand new beginning a new start right don't hold on to the things that you're holding on to here. Aquarius, there's a lot of things here, right? So we got to pull these swords out one at a time. There, you Sometimes, I, I, I don't even feel it sometimes, we can't pull these swords out all at once. I don't feel that we can. It comes out slowly. So healing, allow yourself to heal through this, all right? Um, what else is coming through? There's something wanting to come through and it's not coming through here. It has to do with um, beginnings, um, so connections, um, community, love through other people around you. A lot of loving energy around you here, Aquarius. And I don't know if any of you are seeing the love. If you are, amazing. Embrace it, everyone. If you're not feeling the love, I feel now we need to take a look at how you're perceiving your world. How are you choosing to look at your world? Remember, it all starts with our thought and our minds that is linked to the heart and of how we feel. If you're not feeling good about connections, if you're not feeling good about 
um, this energy of love, this energy of nurture, then you need to look at what's here. What is it in your mind? What's your belief system around this energy? Right? So there's this unboxing of things happening through this as well, through the Three of Cups for you. I'm getting some shadow work. That's what's coming through. Some of you are doing some shadow work and you're kind of hitting some points or pulling some things out you didn't realize you had. Um, and you're working through this. So stay on that path. It's beautiful. I know it doesn't feel good in the moment, but as you're going past this, if shadows are surfacing right now because of the connections in the past, um, I feel it's because you're meant to actually heal from them so they don't keep coming up. Now, the other thing is, uh, those of you that are invited to connect with people, um, go to any kind of social events, now's a really good time because you're going to see that your communication, the way that you um, interact, sometimes we have fear, sometimes we have uh, social anxiety, right? Sometimes we're uncomfortable connecting, but be yourself ask questions so whenever i'm nervous i just ask questions and i let the other person do the talking and not only that what a superpower that is i feel um, you get to learn a lot about a person just from them talking and sharing with you so then i become very curious about them and i'll ask more questions so if you're someone that has social anxiety or don't you don't know how to speak to people maybe ask questions and see where that takes you it works for me it might work for you um, rituals they're wanting you to have some sort of a ritual in your day-to-day -day practice here Aquarius something to do with um, grounding and connection so having some sort of a meditation practice a yoga practice maybe you do a prayer at night I have a, a morning ritual and an evening ritual right so the morning ritual has to do with me getting ready to start these readings to start filming I'll do meditation in the morning connect with the cards um, a lot of different things and then at night it's about releasing energies um, grounding and clearing right and receiving messages as I sleep so some sort of a ritual in your life that is uh, wellness and self-care. Um, I'm actually going for an oil head massage today. That's a part of this energy. It's about love, love with yourself for you to grow and expand. So I've never had that before. It's an Ayurvedic um, head massage with oil. So my daughter's here visiting. So we're both going to go and check that out and see how that is. Um, and I remember my mom used to do that for me when I was younger. And it's just this, this vibration, this energy of when you were younger. Aquarius, this is also coming through of community or somewhere where you lived, the neighborhood. I feel some of you are reminiscing on the environment that you were in in your childhood. I feel things are coming up here from your childhood through this card. Now, creativity is coming in. Communication, the way that you express yourself in crowds, around people, in the community. This is very powerful for you at this time. Your communication, your self-expression, your creativity, art, whatever it is that you do to express yourself and you're wanting to get more reach in the world, this is the perfect month to do it. This is the perfect energy, the perfect new moon to actually plant seeds of grounding and stability, like put to, to lay some really solid foundations in the ground to see that grow by the full moon. You're going to see things starting to really progress in your life. And this is a really exciting time for you um, Aquarius um, what I'm also getting here is I don't know who Pam is the word Pam is coming up in my mind Pam Pamela Pam Pamela um, is coming through so I, I don't know if there's a Pam or Pamela out there maybe you know of somebody by this name this is I feel a confirmation that there's something in this reading for Pam or Pamela okay um, it could be like what is that spray is that oh that's not Pam okay I, I feel like I'm do, I'm going somewhere else with this let's just come back let's come back now <laughs> so community and um, your your light is going to shine here there's something specific that you're doing here your your love your energy is shining in the world you are mag magnetic at this time as well Aquarius so uh, a lot of growth, a lot of expansion that you're going to experience, a lot of connections, a lot of your energy touching other people's lives. I feel your life's experience. Whatever this was, there's something that you're meant to actually share and inspire others with. So I feel there's a reason for you. You might be a book writer, Aquarius. Maybe you're going to write the story of your life or the experiences to help others. I feel this is coming through for some of you with this um, 10 of swords, but also the three of cups. If you're seeing the number 10s or threes, anywhere in your life, this is a confirmation. 
three days and 10 days is coming up, but also the third and the 10th of the month. Perhaps some of you are born on the third or the 10th of the month, okay? So new connections with new friends. I feel friendships. There's gonna be a lot of focus on friendships here, just connections, community, other people around you. And a very beautiful, loving energy here, okay? And maybe you're kind of starting over in your life. Maybe you're having a hard time making friendships, but this is where you wanna be open and receptive. Open and receptive, the King of Swords. This is where that connection is happening. This is where the guidance is coming in for you. This is that stability, that's that security that you have built for yourself. This is where you really understand yourself. You know the things that can trigger you. You're, you know how to manage them. You know what kind of practices and techniques you need to use in order to balance yourself. This is that King of Swords energy. This takes a lot of practice, Aquarius, but I know you can do this, especially if you actually are wanting to see change in your life. And you know what? I always find when we implement new things in our lives, it can be hard. I find it very hard. I'm starting to do calisthenics right now. And it's really hard to start because I have no idea where to start. So I'm going to make a routine, like a calendar. And I'm going to follow that cal calendar daily. And I'm better with calendars. If I don't, don't have anything written down, it's hard to follow because my brain's all over the place. And again, this, this card is all about mastering this mind. Aquarius, mastering things in this mind. Your mind has power, right? It, it, this is also tied to your subconscious mind. So it's time to now retrain or reprogram that subconscious mind. And visualization for you imagination is going to be very powerful all of this is come this is the energy coming through this card for you a lot of power you are being given being given with your intellect okay i'm seeing an owl so there's some wisdom coming in i don't know if any of you are seeing an owl feathers owls anywhere in your life I, I there's wisdom ancestral wisdom knowledge you're tapped in you are tuned in you're at that exact frequency that radio dial that's turning to the right uh, frequency here. And you're hearing the, the, the connection, you're hearing spirit, you're following this guidance. And this is your superpower. This is everyone's superpower. I feel we get dumbed down by society and everything in our lives, everything in this world, it dumbs us down and we forget our connection to spirit and to mother earth. So because you're so highly connected at this time, you're seeing some animals, perhaps you've been around animals and you didn't even know it because you weren't aware. So snap out of that and take a look look around you just to see what you're surrounded by um i sometimes forget that we we i sometimes feel that we forget we have a lot of beauty around us right and it's all about seeing the beauty sometimes the lens we're wearing doesn't allow us to see the beauty so take a look and check the lens you're wearing how are you perceiving your world how are you choosing to show up in the world right? Are you someone that has a positive mind? You don't have to be um, crazy uh, positive every single day. That's just not what we're meant to do. We're all human, right? We go through different experiences. We're meant to experience the experiences we're experiencing, right? But we're also um, meant to actually tap with spirit who brings us the, the guidance to navigate through what it is that we're experiencing. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I feel this energy is all around you. It's within you. Quiet that noise. Um, implement some meditations in your life as well. Spirit guides are saying meditation here for you. You is going to be very powerful, Aquarius. So look at that. I just feel something is going to be revealed here as well in the background. There's something that you're working towards that is going to be unveiled. Okay, this could be yourself. This could be something that you're working on, there, but there's something that's going to be unveiled. So let's pull a bonus card here. This is messages from the Spirits of Nature Oracle. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook today. So anything more that Spirit wants to share with you is going to come through this card, Aquarius. So we are getting for you today stars, navigation. Look at this, stars, navigation. The number 37 on this card. 3 plus 7 in numerology, we've got 10. We have the 10 of swords. All right, so I don't know if any of you are seeing stars, if you're stargazers, um, you, you enjoy the nighttime hours, dreams, visuals. There's something happening that's magical here with this uh, card. So the number 37 could be a number of significance for some of you. Maybe you're 37 years old. Um, even the 10th of the month I'm getting here as a possible date here. So 10 days, 
10th of the month here for timing, those of you looking for timing around the message of this card. So the number 37 here, let's take a look, stars. So the message is gazing at the sky on the darkest of moonless nights, sorry, gazing at the sky on the darkest of moonlight, moonless nights, you will find yourself enthralled by a multitude of stars blanketing the roof of the earth. These billions of points of light in the sky provide a glimmer of illumination through the night. By their positions, they have served humans throughout history to navigate the globe. Early ocean voyagers had no, no maps, sextants, or compasses, and instead navigated by the positions of the stars and ocean currents. In the northern hemisphere, the North Star's position appears stationary and provides a consistent orientation to the four directions, whereas, this, whereas in the southern hem hemisphere, the longer bar of the Southern Cross provides a similar purpose for navigation. In addition to providing reliable guidance, the patterns of stars called constellations were thought to be God's way of telling stories. So it was natural to name them and tell stories about them. Through their beauty and the lore they inspire, stars provoke awe and wonder at the great mystery of the cosmos. So the message for you today through this is, how are you navigating through your life, Aquarius? Are you winging it or do you have your life planned out with little or no room for variance? What sources do you rely on for the choices that you make? You're beginning to see how your way of navigating through life has had its pitfalls and limitations and are feeling the urge to change your way of operating. Like your long ago ancestors who learned to navigate their individual and communal lives with the various elements and spirits of nature, it's time for you to shift to directing your awareness to the signs and omens so abundantly available from spirit. Especially the spirits of nature, your mind is so busy all the time that it starts to think it's in charge. Remind yourself that your ego is not supreme by tuning into the spiritual guidance available to you just outside your door. Whatever other sources in the natural world you find useful direction from, make it a point to experience, experience the astounding reminder of the benevolent universe in which we live in by lying under the stars and listening closely to what they're telling you. And if you happen to see a shooting star, go ahead and make a wish and see if it comes true. Look at that. So stars for you, Aquarius. I love this message for you today. Oh my goodness. So there's something in the night sky for you, Aquarius. Let's pull, some, pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So higher mind. Look at this higher mind is coming in for you. So that tapping into energy of your higher mind. We have the number 15, 15. Perhaps you're seeing these numbers in your life. I'm getting 15 days, 15 weeks, and the 15th of the month around the message of this card. Some of you might be seeing the colors, blue, nighttime, right? So mind over matter, Aquarius. So this moon cycle, mind over matter. Your thoughts have power. That's why imagination and visualization is going to be very important for you. You are going to create the change that you are seeking. You are going to create the change that you are seeking. So this is your message. This is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.